the top five greatest African players of all time. There are many great players to choose from, but if I had to pick five, it would be Yaya Toure at number five. He redefined the role of a midfielder. He had power, precision, and a great goal scorer in the important games. He was a very hard player to play against, and in my opinion, the complete player. At number four, I would have to say JJ Okocha. He was like a magician on the ball. His ball control and dribbling were out of this world. Watching him when I was young, I learned many things. The way he could stop, turn and dummy, the players to go one way and make a gap for himself was incredible. He made even the great players look bad in defense. At number three, I will have to put George Weah. He was a very powerful and fast striker, playing for a great Milan side in an era of football where the Italian sides dominated the game. His precision and finesse in front of goal was incredible, and I believe he is still the only African player to win the Ballon d'Or. At number two, it gets a bit harder, and you really can't split these two players, but I will have to go with Didier Drogba. He was the ultimate big game player and an absolute nightmare for defenders. His strength, skill, and technique made him impossible to play against. The game against Bayern, it was a Champions League final. Chelsea were at Bayern Stadium. The odds were against them. Chelsea were on the back foot most of the game, and it looked like they were about to lose. There were only a few minutes left. He stepped up and scored a beautiful header in last minutes of the game to take it to extra time. Then, he finished the last penalty with no run-up to win Chelsea's first Champions League title. At number one, it's the iconic Eto'o. He's one of the most electrifying players I had the pleasure of playing against. The reason I have chosen him is because of his consistency at the top. He scored many beautiful goals with his precision and pace, but to win back-to-back -back trebles, four Champions League titles, and a long list of league titles is why I put him at number one. It was a shame Madrid let him go, and he ended up at Barcelona. We could have been a great partnership. I also have to mention Salah. He had an incredible few years with Liverpool, winning the Champions League and Premiership titles. And lastly, I have to include Michael Essien. He played for a very strong Chelsea side who achieved so much because of him. He scored some incredible goals and made some fantastic moments for his club.